Oh, well, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hello, boys, girls, and all of between. My name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome to something different. I'm going to sit down for this just so I can explain. So basically, I've been watching various different YouTube channels, various different people, and what they've been doing, and just working out what I prefer to do. And so I've been sitting there thinking that the style of videos I've been doing for a while, the bus spotting and the train that videos, was fun for a while, but recently it's been a little less fun for me. So, for today's video, we're going to be trying a little bit different. We'll be trying uh, a vlog. Today's is going to be a review of the Go North West network around Manchester. I'll be using a Manchester Wayfarer to get around for the day so that I can use any mode of public transport I need to to get between locations. And it should be a really fun day. So, uh, let's get ourselves fully ready down to the station and make our way over to Manchester to start the day. Got a rough plan of what I'm doing, uh, but yeah, this should be fun. If this video didn't turn out quite how I want it to, then we'll just go back to the old style. And if it does turn out how I like it, we'll move to this. So, time to see how this goes. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 Okay, I'm at Racklesfield Station, I have my Manchester Wayfarer. For those who are curious, the Manchester Wayfarer is a rather unique and awesome ticket. There's two Wayfarers that exist in the UK, there's the Manchester one and the Derbyshire one. The Manchester Wayfarer covering all of Greater Manchester, most of Cheshire, parts of Lancashire, most of Derbyshire. Oh no, that's it. So it's quite a wide range that it covers. It's a really cool little ticket, so I love using it. It's only £15.20 and then the Derbyshire Wayfarer is the other one, but we'll probably cover that in a future episode. And what these tickets mean is you can use buses, trams and trains within the region um, at all times. There's a couple of areas on the map where it's trans their buses only um, rather than all buses, but that's fine because the areas it means there's only really trans their vehicles anyway. There's like maybe one or two routes from local operators, if that. Anywho, we are now at Maxfield Station, and we're going to be making our way to Manchester now. We'll be boarding the 0901 service to Manchester, which will be a cross-country service. So, a pair of voyages. Um, so, let's wait for that to turn up, and uh, we'll see how the day goes. Um, I only bought the Wayfarer because I may need to use the trams or the trains throughout the day. But if I don't need to do that, then it's not the end of the world. Could have saved a bit of cash, but I probably will end up using them all. Let's be real. Um, so let's get started and let's get ourselves over to Manchester. Okay, and our train is now approaching now. It's going to be 221137 is the unit we're going to be getting on. Uh, 220017 is on the rear of it. So let's get on board this lovely Voyager. Maybe not lovely, but it's a Voyager. And we'll see you in Manchester. Okay, so we're at Piccadilly in Manchester. From here, you can actually board a network of three buses around the city, which terminate, well, depart from these stands here. There's a, one there for the Route 1, just there. And then the two, sorry, one and the three, and then the two comes from up here. We're going to be using the Route 2 to head up to uh, Shoot Hill, where we're going to be starting the day off. So let's make our way over there and see what bus we end up getting. And with the routes mainly operated by Versa Hybrids, we're going to be getting number 49101, which is actually the old first number uh, numbering for it, which Go North West have inherited, uh, over to Shoot Hill. Number, uh, sorry, number plate YJ60KCU. I'll see you on board. We're now at Shoot Hill. Uh, that is something I will cover in the future. It's the Flixbus network. But as you can see, Go North West sort of hub here. All of their vehicles, most of their services, sorry, that go into Manchester City Centre serve here. The only two that don't are the 135 and the 41, which actually go into the city centre. And then, of course, the ones that don't touch the city centre as well also don't come here. So the Orbit services and the 415. Anyway, we are now about to jump on the 18 up to Middleton, where we're then going to connect for the bus that basically sparked me wanting to do this whole network view in the first place, because there's a big change about to happen to the, the fleet at Go North West. Uh, it's one of two new types coming to the fleet, um, with the first one now entering service slowly but surely. Um, but we'll get into that once we actually reach Middleton. Uh, let's see what we end up getting on the 18. 
That's a nice surprise. No idea what that's on, but that's nice to see. Well, there is a Rootmaster, a classic Rootmaster, just there. Um, smelling fantastic. The smell of Britain in the 50s. Well, that was a lovely surprise. I just went in there to check what Stan needed, and I saw that in the corner of my eye. Before well, I pop out and quickly uh, take a photo and film it. I'll put the photo out now. Okay, and just over there you can see uh, Go North West's 69199, one of two remaining ex first grade to Manchester um, B7R release that's not one of the 09 plates. So they kept the three 09 plates that were passed over, but these older ones are being phased out, and this is one of the last two left. These two left. Uh, their new MOT lasts for a few more months, so they're keeping them in service while the fleet changes are undertaken. So there is 69199. So we're on board Go North West's 3005, which is one of around about 13 of Volvo B5LH Right Clips Gemini 2s that they inherited from the first Greater Manchester when they took the Queen's Road Depot. All of the ones that were based with Greater Manchester at the time of the Go North West takeover were based at Queen's Road, so they all passed over to the company. Now, when they were under first, these were the main vehicle on the 18. However, when Go North West took over, uh, they merged. 17 and 18 allocations so whatever was on the 17 and the 18 was shared meaning these have run alongside Volvo B9TL right click Gemini 1s on both routes uh, since they took over however the B9TLs the older ones the 07 and 57 plates are being phased out by the vehicle beyond next which we're going to connect for at Middleton I just need to get this one so we can get to Middleton on time but yeah, so it should be nice when we get there to see the new vehicle. Um, but these ones were, as you probably can tell, fully refurbished when going off West over. These were the pilot vehicles, the first fleet to gain the full the Go North West colours, and the first fleet to be fully refurbished. They had a complete entire tear out and rebuild. You'll notice the flooring is different. The seats are they're the same seat moulding, but completely brand new leather was fitted. Uh, new grab handles as you can see everything was completely redone with these vehicles uh, and interestingly on this one the original design is still in place on the adverts as go north west did change the liveries um, i'll put a photo of the two liveries about now uh, but you can see the difference there so anyway let's stop rambling on and let's get ourselves to middleton station uh, we will be back here later on as well but we're gonna be jumping on the 17 not the one that's there now we're gonna be waiting on the one afterwards as it has the vehicle we are looking for to really get the day started so I shall see you on board that okay and here is the vehicle in just in question it's 3068 and it's an, M an MCV Evo SETI body Volvo B5LH let's get ourselves on board
London. These were freed up when the Route 63 passed over to Abellio London um, using new uh, ADL MR500 EVs or electric MR400s. And these are coming up going off west. They're getting a full exterior repaint, of course. Uh, new LED displays fitted. The middle door has been taken out and converted into a new wheelchair space. And also, USB has been fitted, as you've seen. Free Wi Fi, I'm not too sure about. I didn't check last month on one of these, so I'll just check in a minute. Um, but also, what's interesting is they've not fully refurbished them yet, anyway. These are obviously the going off west, the go ahead London seats, and obviously all the panels are the go ahead paneling. Potentially, they may refurbish them in the future, who knows? Um, I know these interiors are only five years old, six years old, uh, being 66 plates, um, but we'll have to see what they do. Uh, potentially, this is still their interior, let's go ahead. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get ourselves back to Shoot Hill on the 17 here. One thing worth noting on these is the seats that they used. They're not actually standard seats. Um, normally in Go Ahead London they use the standard Ventura seats. You see on a lot of vehicles like the Enviro 400 for example, a very common seat on there. Uh, but for these, they use these, uh, I don't even know what type of seat they are. They look like Urban 90s, but like modernized. Um, but unfortunately, like the Urban 90s, they're not the most comfortable seats in the world. They they look like they've got cushioning, but they're just very solid and very, un, you know, badly shaped. Uh, they're not very tall either, so there's not a lot of back support. Um, so it's the one downside of these, which is why I'm really hoping to get some sort of refurbishment inside. But it would mean brand new seats being fitted, so maybe it's too expensive to do already maybe they'll do it over time you know as they take one out at a time because obviously there's only two of these in service at the moment 3068 here and 3051 uh, 3051 was brought in to replace uh, 3210 which was proved drawn due to an engine failure and this one has been pulled in um, just to support that one and also to push the trial fully underway while i'm talking by the way over there is one of the two in my 400s uh, it's three 101 that one uh, painted up for the cross city route 41 uh, we'll cover that more when we do that route later today
Tube Hill now. We're going to walk over that way and we're going to be getting on route number 97 on iterate. Anyway, which one of these first? And we're going to head up to Berry on board of one of the single decker routes and we're going to go and explore, once we get there, the first brand that was introduced by Going Up West to the city. Uh, so let's head over there now. single-decker vehicles on a regular basis, those being streetlights, B7 RLEs, um, and sometimes a Numerati 100 as well, although they normally reside on the 33. It's not really a fixed allocation, but really the main stay of this route is the, actually it's the streetlights, but the B7 RLEs do it as well. This 09 plate is lovely, but the seat I've just sat on has no cushion left, and I just very much injured myself on the rear end. There's one for UG. Um, Anyway, let's get cracking and let's make our way now uh, up to Berry on this bus. So there's space because these are 6101 to 104 but then the ones they inherited from Plymouth City Bus and um, Foxstar, yeah Foxstar, were numbered from 6151 onwards so there's a sort of big gap, uh, 45 numbers in there, 46 numbers sorry in there, so that's good. So they left some space to fit in more older examples, also this one sounds fantastic. Um, but I'm going to leave you with some clips of this one as it goes along uh, getting some speed just to get some of the uh, nice sounds of it. Take an hour to an hour and 15 minutes 
the 135 takes just 35 to 40 minutes. I'll double check that when we go on board it. The heading's very specifically for that service, um, and it's formed of B90Ls. The official confirmed route that will keep the B90Ls in full service. I've been here for half an hour, we're finally at Perry Interchange. Here we actually get a mix of the more interesting operators of Greater Manchester. Go Northwest, Diamond, Transtip are the main operators here, with Tyras and the Vision Bus also doing some of the local routes. I think Vision only run on Sundays. I don't remember. Anyway, to cut a long story short, we are now here. No, no, Vision Bus will be run for the week. Anyway, we are now here. Um, we just come off the 97, and just over there actually, just there, there's a Satara, you're pretty to see in the background. That was on the 97, which was nice, but I didn't get to film it because I was busy on the phone. Sorry about that. Sataras are quite a big part of Manchester now. We will cover them more later in this video, but there is a couple more here uh, for Diamond. One just pulling up behind me now, just there. Which will go past us on the 474, uh, which is nice, because normally that actually runs street decks now. So it's good to see some more of the Sataras out today for Diamond. Wait, right. we're gonna be getting on the 135, which was the first route that Go Northwest granted up after taking over the the network. Um, now, just to remind you, Gunnar West took over the Queen's Road depot of the First Greater Manchester when they sold it off. Um, and people were always saying the Go Ahead group would bring a lot to the table. And it's the first time Go Ahead group have come to Manchester uh, ever as a bus company, which is nice. And the 135 was the first time they finally introduced their iconic uh, big brands they do, uh, similar to Transdev uh, and other groups like that now but go ahead obviously I want our companies that do it so it was nice to see that the city centre in Manchester was finding it some proper route branding and the 135 was the first one so let's uh, let's wait for our bus to turn up and we'll uh, see what we end up getting just quickly oh ooh, no there I am sorry the sun's in my way just quickly that there is up there solo 190 which is YJ59 NPG that one was new to Yorkshire Tiger and past the, trans Pen the Team Pennine when they took over and it's now operating with Rosso, uh, which is nice. The, all the ones that they took on that they're keeping, they are running with Rosso, but also pulling in is Free220, our B9TL down to Manchester. Let's get on board. Just there is 3069 for going off west. For those curious, at the moment it is tracking as number 11, the spare ticket machine that has been fitted to that, but it is 3069. To be seeing number 11 on bus times, it is 3069. That's a nice little surprise for us there. 
We're going to change plans. I know I said I was going to do the 33. We're now going to do the 41, which is the other brand new route, because I need some USB charging. I know those have it, but I'm going to get on the Satara, and we'll go. Uh, we'll cover those next. Um, in fact, the bus is now approaching now, so we're going to get on this Satara um, and we're going to use the USB charging because the portable charger I brought is actually broken and it's not charging correctly. Um, so I'm going to have to get a new one of those as well on payday, which is fun. But anyway, so let's wait for the uh, bus to turn up. Okay, it's 6214 taking us all the way. So welcome aboard Satara. So these passed over from a sister company going on east uh, in 2021. Uh, they were specifically for this route. There's 22 in total, um, 11 of which are branded for the Cross City Route 41, and then 11 of them are grey as they call The grey ones all except one, which I believe is 6212. Uh, I don't know Anyway, apart from one grey example, uh, all the rest of the grey ones um, will be withdrawn. The uh, thing is, I'm not too sure what they'll be replaced by, um, but they are being replaced uh, and withdrawn from service. Uh, but one grey one will remain to support the bolts of this fleet and we'll be getting Euro 6 specifications. Um, so, it'll be nice and uh, it should be a nice journey over to sale. So something a bit weird with Sataras that I think anyway is the seating layout on the slightly longer models and the slightly later longer models, that is at the back of the bus. On a standard bus, all seats are sort of this way, or you do get the odd seat facing this way that I'm sat now. But these ones are strange, because they're like tiered upwards. They go up each seat. Because the wheel, of course, is right below us. It's right there, in fact. And it is just a weird design. And then they have the four seats at the back, and then like an extra luggage space in the corner over there. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Um, of course, we've got social seating opposite me, and it's a really nice area. This, of course, because if you're in a big group and you just wanted to sit here, you could fit four there, two next to me, and three here. So you can fit a nice group of nine people, which is really nice. And then including the back, you've got 13, and then them two there is 15. So it's a nice layout for sure. It's just strange, you know, probably the more unique designs at the back of the bus for seats. Uh, of course, the other unique thing about Satara is the stuff there, which is like that. Uh, the only ones of that type in the UK, I believe. So, yeah, these sound really good. They are really powerful uh, vehicles. I quite like them. Some of them have more power than others. This one's a bit more slow than the last one I used. The last one I used, which was on the evening run um, on the 33, then on the second, was very nice. And again, speaking of that, on the 33, it becomes the 33B in the evenings. And what happens is, is the PBR for this route is lower in the evening than it is in the, during the day. During the day, this is an every 10 minute route, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but in the evenings, it drops down to every 30 minutes, which means that uh, two or three of the Sotaras that are on this all day are freed up. And so what happens is, if they jump on the 33B, so the vehicles that have been doing the 33 all day can come off and go to the depot. Um, and so I got a Cross City branded Sotaro on the 33B back to Manchester the last time I was in. Uh, the area of Worsley, thought I used one of these Sotaros, and that was really nice. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we, are, we keep going. We're just leaving, I forgot where we are now. I know we're near enough near Didsbury, which is good. Uh, again, we're doing this all the way to sale, and then from there, we're going to use a different operator to get across to Eccles, Diamond Northwest. I'll see you all there. You know how in that last time I was trying to work, determine the, the, the frequency of the. Yeah, it tells you on the back of the bus. Okay, and there goes 6214 that brought us up from the city centre up here to sale. That now goes up there at the top there and turns. For a full journey of that in the other direction, please see the first episode of Bus Journeys, where I rode an environmental engine on the route. Those trains, flowing water there for her as well. Um, but there's something else I'm forgetting. I can't think what it is. Uh, I'm sure it will come to me eventually. Yeah, it'll come to me at some point. I'm sure. Okay, I was looking for a quiet place to do this, and then I realised there's a primary school here. Probably not the best way to go. I'm only going to a quiet place because I've not got the, the confidence the G has. But I promised her I'd do this. So, okay. 
it's quiet. I know it's a primary school, but it is a Saturday, so that's closed. And my next option is a church, so that feels even more offensive. But, you know, when I make a promise, I tend to keep to it. So, squishy booby! Okay, I'm just running along now, because, well, if I'm being honest, I'm reading these go to Twitter, and I've got, hang on, 10 minutes till the train, the uh, train? Till the bus. There's a Sainsbury's around the corner here, which where the bus stop is as well. Well, a bus stop for the route I need. So, let's get there, sort that. I can't think of anything else now. I just had to get that out of the way, because I was going to forget, and it is the best place to do it, because it's the place we've got the longest to stop, so I'm trying to do as many routes as I can. There'll be more artsy shots in the future episodes of these, I just haven't got a tripod to my phone yet, so yeah. I don't know where the Sainsbury's is, it's down here somewhere, so. Oh, thank God, there you are. Right, toilet, bus. There are two routes here, 260 and 262, which I believe are both run by Go Gobins with different vehicles, but I don't think they run Eccles. If they do, I might get on that. So, we're waiting for the Solo SR Hybrid now. It's gonna be a Transport Greater Manchester vehicle hired out to Diamond Northwest. Keep an eye on it, that's why I'm looking that way constantly. So these are hired out. So this route is meant to have these all the time, alongside Versus as well, they're allowed anything owned by Transport Greater Manchester. That's part of the route, as I said before, it's part of the agreement. However, on Sundays, the rules are dropped and any vehicle can do it if the service runs. If one of these was to break and there's no spare, then obviously another vehicle is allowed. But the contract's meant to be these vehicles, that's kind of the idea behind it. Um, anyway, so we're gonna get this, not technically a Diamond vehicle, we're gonna get it over to Eccles, where we're going to change for our next Go Northwest brand. The penultimate one of the day and the penultimate one in the collection so far that has been introduced of all four, with a fifth one being discussed later on that may be coming soon, but I'm not 100% on that, so it's sort of like a speculation bit, but st stay tuned for that bit at the end. Okay, so it's approaching in now. And it's a uh, YJ60KCF, which was new to the Manchester Metro, link, uh, Metro Shuttle, and it's 20405 in the Diamond Northwest numbering. Cheers, thank you. Go North West routes that serve here. The 100 comes down from the Trafford Centre to here. The 67 from Caddishead comes down on its way to here, and then both of those go into Manchester uh, to shoot and interchange. But the 52 is under the Orbitz brand, one of the second brands introduced by Go North West. Uh, it might have been the first, more than 135, but I'm pretty sure they came at the same time. Anyway, the Orbit uh, is for the routes 52 and 53, which go around the edge of the west of Manchester. We're gonna get the 52 from here down to the connection point, change from 53, and then go on that to the MRI where we're gonna change back onto the 18 for the second time today. 
Okay, so X Plymouth City Bus 6158 is going to be our chariot down to Palesworth Tesco. We're going to get off at the Chief Mirror Shopping Centre there. Um, and this one is one of the batches that uh, KTV Videos wanted us to get on when we were here, but sadly we didn't get a chance to. But I think I'll send him a picture of the interior, shall I? Let's get on board. included a handful of your your bus, uh, sorry, X your bus, uh, Empire 200s, uh, classic models, that is, um, 16, 66, and 67 plates, and I believe 117 plate, I think, as well as a batch of four uh, X Malta, uh, Somerset Passage Solutions, and then for the last minute, last before this, City Fox bus, uh, BG14 plate, the Clips 2s, uh, with the WA12 batch being the full batch that were allocated to the 11 and 11A in Plymouth. Thank you to the group chat for that. Uh, reminder, I think I believe they allocated other routes as well, but mainly the 11 and the 11A, which then changed vehicles in 2019, allowing these to be freed up. And instead of keeping them in Plymouth, they sent them up here to go northwest, uh, with Plymouth City Bus being another sister company to go in the west being another go-ahead group operated company. Okay, so that was 4015. I've actually got off here at Harpori. I think that's how you pronounce it, because I'm just thinking that time's getting on a bit, so we're going to try and get some more of the routes done. So I need to get back up to Middleton and then cover the 415. So let's make our way to Middleton on the next bus that turns up. We won't even make it go northwest. Whatever bus comes first, we'll jump on. In case we 3007 on the 17, taking us back up to Middleton. So as we said before, we are back in the middle of the night, we said we would be, and we're about to cover the final brand introduced by Sky Northwest so far, but then we will be going on to just discuss, discuss one more potential brand in the future after that. We'll be looking at the Middleton Mini, Middleton's Minis. Now there is two routes under this brand, the 129 and the 415. Now the 129, I'm not covering in this video. It's a short circular route, takes about half an hour, 40 minutes, but I've already done a journey video on it, so click that here to see that route in full and see where it went. 
it was taken over by Spy Go Quest from start uh, in 2021, and then the brand of Middleton's Minis was launched when these three ex Go North East solos were taken on for the two routes, with the 415 having a short railway bridge halfway along the route, uh, which is only nine foot nine tall, and um, which means that uh, only certain buses can fit. Uh, on the route, uh, which is why if you look on all going off west buses, there's a sign at the front of the driver's cab just to remind them whether or not they can actually do the 415. I'm going to end the video there because my phone battery is low, running low and the portable charger I had has just died. Um, so I did have more planned, but unfortunately we're going to have to end it there. Um, I will come back and do more going off my stuff in the future, so I'll cover the stuff I missed then uh, for you. Um, but until then, uh, thank you for watching this well, somewhat trial video. Uh, this is a different style of what I've done in the past, obviously. And if, this kind of went well for me, so I quite enjoyed it. I'm going to try filming on the camera next time, see if that works better, worse, whatever. Um, and then finalize the ideas from there. So it's sort of like a rough idea that's going to keep coming together slowly but surely. Okay, hello from the, well, I guess we can call it the studio, from the bedroom, basically. Um, this video was very much a trial for me. Um, and of course, I did a bit of everything in there. I wasn't really sure what style I wanted to go for, so I sort of mixed various styles in, but I think I know which one I like the most out of what I did in the video, so look out for that in the future. Again, this series will adapt and change over time, and I know this has been a very long video. I know we're at 40 minutes. I know how to fix that in future. But to keep this as brief as possible, um, I hope you all enjoyed. And for the bits we missed, please see the description down below. I'm going to write full details of all the routes that weren't covered down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your feedback down below. I'm going to try and cut down the talking in future episodes. But other than that, I've been Lucy Michaela. This has been the Go North West Fleet. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.